Before we dive into this, be sure to like this video and get ready to share with a friend so we can save some bags. There's two ways of doing the cable roll. There's conventional textbook and then there's the Arnold stretched out version. I just want this to be very clear that there's a left and the right and we're going to show you how to do the left and the right later in the video. But first, let's identify some common mistakes. Okay guys, common mistake number one I see is far too many people aren't getting a full range of motion. I see guys coming to the gym feeling like they're super big, doing the full stack, when realistically they're not actually proper along, properly elongating their arms. They're doing half reps, they're cheating their way, thinking they're growing a bigger back when realistically they're just killing their gains. So of motion for this exercise is absolutely everything. You want to make sure you're getting a nice stretch, a nice contraction on the back and you're doing it properly. Full range of motion is key. Mistake number two and this ties into number one about range of motion. You see so many people are just using their back and the weight of their torso to pull that weight for them. So you're going to get their weight and they're going to throw it back and they're going to try to throw their hips forward, squeeze that weight back and kind of collapse that spine. That is absolutely what you do not want to be doing. It's the same with deadlifting with just your back. You're gonna put way too much strain on your spine when in reality you should be pulling, using your rhomboids, your lats, your traps to really pull that weight and work on the contraction as opposed to cheating your way through it. It's like curling with your back. It's a very dangerous practice. You're relying on momentum, especially when you have two, 300 pounds on that cable stack. That is the last thing you wanna do. So once again, you wanna make sure you're keeping that back in a static position. Even if it's being pulled, I'm holding that static position as you guys can see. Whereas if I'm just ripping it with my back, you're gonna just cause a lot of pain and you're probably gonna to go to Snap City. Mistake number three is an easy one, but one that far too many people make. And this is something that goes with every exercise you'll ever do, every time you set up on a bench. It's all about contracting your scapula. So what that's gonna look like is this. You're just drilling your two rear delt area, your rhomboids all back there, your scapula, those two wingy bone looking things, you're pulling them back. So you're pulling it all tight like you would in a cable row, you're not letting your shoulders droop. So you're standing up nice and tall with those shoulders, and by doing that you're gonna actually cuff your spine, all the little vertebrae in your spine, with the muscles there, they're gonna be in a contracted, strong position, pushed up nice and tight to each other, ready to move some serious loads of weight. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna show you how to do the conventional form. So we like using a V-bar here, this is kind of like your standard for the cable row. You're gonna grab it, place your feet nice and flush, pull back to where you're kind of extended here. I'm not letting myself droop, I'm keeping my chest up, and I'm, this part I'm using my back to pull it back to get set up. Once I'm at this position, once again you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have that back in a static place. It's on a little bit of an angle, maybe 20 degrees or so, I have my back padded. I'm pulling in, squeezing that chest tight. And I'm going all the way to full extension without locking my elbows, because that's gonna cause a lot of pain. So I'm here, and I'm out to here. This is what your conventional is gonna look like. If you want, you can do a little bit of bend to try to squeeze your back, not a ton. Now, modify this is Arnold's kind of form. Now, key thing to make here is you always need to keep make sure that your rhomboids are pushed back, right? You're contracting that scapula. That's gonna be the big factor to whether you're doing this right or whether you're gonna kill yourself. So when you're doing this, you're gonna let it stretch. You can see how I'm stretched here on the eccentric. Concentric, I'm coming back to a big squeeze. Now here, I'm following the weight to where I feel my lats are being fully extended or until this hits here, and I'm, yet I'm still keeping posture, pulling up. And you can see how much more of a range of motion this is. When doing this, you have to go a lot slower. As you guys can see in some other videos of me, I'm using a good weight, and I'm keeping it under control. I'm getting a crazy contraction. It's all about coming back from that big squeeze and pushing everything together, getting a nice thick back. If you want to look thick, solid, and tight like my boy KG in this clip, that's what you got to get done. So hopefully that helps you guys out. We decided to include Mr. Babel himself, Scotty Herman, and exercise number one we're showing you today is the single arm cable row, and it's without a doubt our favorite alternative to the actual seated row. It's an exercise that we often toss in on top of the seated row or just simply substitute in for. And some of you may be wondering why is Scott using momentum within this exercise, and we're gonna link down below his cheat and recover method where he talks about um, you know the new style of training that he's going to be utilizing. That being said, a couple things you want to keep in mind is you want to make sure to keep your torso upright, your back straight, and you want to make sure not to let the weight pull you to one side while doing this exercise. Highly recommend putting in your routine. 
Variation number two, we have the wide neutral grip seated row. Now what you want to keep in mind is that you're going to be pulling the bar slightly below the pec line. So I'm a huge fan of this uh, neutral grip bar that we're using mainly because I can keep my forearms in a nice parallel um, form whereas a lot of other uh, you know, neutral grips that you're going to be using are out super wide and you're not going to be able to get as good of a contraction using that. Last but not least, we are doing the wide grip seated row for variation number three. You're going to want to use the lat pull down bar for this exercise and by doing it with this nice pronated wide grip, you're going to be targeting the lats a bit more um, throughout the movement. You want to make sure that you are squeezing your shoulder blades together and you're getting a nice full range of motion like we've talked about a bunch of times in this video. Okay guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video and we hope that you can take your seated row form to the next level and make sure you're not getting injured. Please comment down below the most common mistake you guys see when people are executing the seated row. Make sure to smash that like button so we can get the video to more people. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh by the way, click the link down below to see our full playlist of how-to fixes and uh, check them all out. Peace out guys. <laughs>